This is where we talk about how we grow both a powerful brand and business and life as well, because everything's connected. Welcome to Brand and Biz Bills. I'm Debbie White. I've spent 30 years in the creative advertising industry, working with Fortune 500 brands, while also being a serial entrepreneur, building several multiple six and seven figure businesses along the way. I'm talking with other powerful women to share insider secrets and insights about building your brand and business. And I don't have time for BS and fluff. You don't either. So let's get to building a powerful brand and business with some real Frank talk. Follow me on Instagram at frankly Deb so we can connect further. Hey, I am here with someone I can't wait to introduce you to Christine Glein. She is the creator and finder of the soul intelligence method. Welcome, Christine. So Thank great to have you. you. So uh, excited to be here, Deb. I'm so excited to have you. I want to tell you guys a little bit about what Christine does so you can get some context. We're going to have an interesting conversation today about a couple things. Um, she is a conscious leadership coach. So we'll explain a little bit more about what that means. Um, she's also a former corporate turnaround specialist. And now she's the leader of the soul intelligence movement, which she started. And uh, just, a, just a, a little clarity, and we'll get more into this. Soul intelligence is a healing modality that clears away old beliefs that are no longer serving you. It does a lot more than that. But that's a <laughs> short, short, sweet answer. So great to have you. You too. Um, Okay. So this whole soul intelligence method, I want to start there. And then I have a lot of questions to ask you about, not just that, but about what it's like to start a business, you know, as an entrepreneur with a corporate background. Um, so you say the soul intelligence method is the ultimate biohack. Yeah. Okay, you got to explain what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's kind of doctor terms. Um, so what I mean by that is, um, everybody and everything is energy. Can we, can we remember that from seventh grade yep. science class? I think everybody's all in on that, right? We're all these yep. protons, neutrons, electrons. We've got an electromagnetic field. We're buzzing. Yep. Okay. All right. And so because we're energetic beings, we, things get stuck in your energetic field. They can st get stuck in your emotional body, your physical body, your mental body, or even your spiritual body. We just don't see it. So we don't usually talk about it. And so when something gets stuck in, in your physical body long enough, it causes this dissonance in your frequency, which causes you to go, Hey, something's wrong. I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> okay? yeah. And so doctors have to work on you physically to get it to shift. And a lot of doctors work with me um, or refer me to their patients because our medical system set up to treat acute care. So you're bleeding. We will patch you up right? It's not designed to treat chronic, uh, chronic care or prevention. Right. And so what I do is I help figure out what's actually caused the dissonance in the frequency. Why did you get the block in the first place? And typically it's a trapped or stuck emotion um, because emotion is energy in motion. And when it's not moving, it's trapped, it's stuck, it causes problems. And that's the, that's the root of most illnesses. It's the root of most chronic conditions. And so I actually have a healing modality that helps me identify what is it? What's stuck in your mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual body that's really holding you back. And we're able to pinpoint that, shift it out. So you heal quicker, you feel better. Um, and you're, you're able to release some of these self-limiting beliefs or archetypes or patterns that you've been stuck in for a while and help create a new pattern. That's pretty amazing. I, I've, I've had the, uh, <laughs> the pleasure of being on the receiving end of this modality. It's pretty wild, y'all. I mean, you really can feel a shift. It's pretty incredible. Um, I want to talk about, you have this very successful corporate background. I'm going to start mm -hmm. there for a second. Sure. And, you know, as a turnaround specialist and doing a lot of other, I know you do a lot of other things with corporate. Mm -hmm. um, and yet you have this very woo method, soul intelligence that you have been developing over the last how long? Like a um, good 15 years or 15 so. 15 years. Yeah. And then I heard you say at one point, you're bringing the woo out of the closet. 
<laughs> That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, like a spiritual I, secret agent, you know, spir- <laughs> a spiritual secret agent. So you're using some of this woo in very corporate settings, which to me fascinates me. Yes. Fascinates true. me. Like in the C-suite settings mm-hmm. of these corporations. Yep. What is that like of just bringing something that, you know, I mean, this is energy and woo and you use a, um, a pendulum, a pendulum, a yeah. pendulum. I mean, pendulum yeah. and a book of charts yeah. and a book of charts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how, how is that perceived in the corporate world and how we'll start there. And then I have more questions about <laughs> you bringing the woo out of the closet. Well, sure. Well, um, so I was doing this behind the scenes. I will admit as a corporate turnaround specialist, my job was to figure out Um, what people, process, and technology needed to shift in order to meet the business outcomes. So naturally, I knew how to do, how to use, um, like my method is founded in another methodology that uses a book of charts and pendulum. Okay, so it's sort of the concept. The idea is the same, Um, but it wasn't detailed enough. It didn't go into any work-related stuff. Like my my system is so much more expanded than, than from the basis um, that I drew from. But anyway, using the old system, I was like, well, I can clear a person. I can also clear a couple because where two or more are gathered, there's an energy field. Yeah. I could clear a family. I could clear a team, a region, <clears throat> a division or company. Wow. So I wouldn't walk into the boardroom with a book of charts and a pendulum and freak everybody out, but I would be in my <laughs> hotel room trying to clear the funkiness <laughs> out of the situation. I just want to see that image of you walking in the boardroom, like, okay, I've got my pencil. We have some work to do. <laughs> I know. So, to be honest, you know, during yeah. the corporate career, obviously, I didn't bring that out. How yeah. I introduce it now, yeah, um, is working typically one on one with a, a CEO. Um, uh, I introduced it slowly in my group programs um, that I was doing for a company. And basically gave people the opportunity. Do you want a traditional coaching session like we've had? Mm -hmm. Um, Or would you like to take a risk walk with me and have a soul intelligence session? And every single person chose the risk walk. Well, that sounds way more exciting. Like, I want to see what that (laughs) stuff's about. What does she mean? A risk walk. Yeah. What? Yeah. So when we talk about it being a biohack, right, people are trying to biohack themselves these days, which basically means we're trying to do everything um, to improve our health, to slow the aging process down. Right. So biohacks might be cryogenics where you sit in a freezer and freeze Mm -hmm. yourself. I still can't bring myself to do that. I really hate cold water. So the whole idea. I'm not and everyone's like, either. oh, will you feel fantastic? I'm like, you're nuts. I can't do it. But salt therapy, mm-hmm. light therapy, right? Our bodies respond to, to different mm-hmm. things. Right. Um, and so this is another way to biohack, meaning if you can shift the energy out that's stuck, that's no longer serving you, and then download the stuff in that you really need, um, you're going to feel worlds better, right? And if we yeah. can actually get, it's almost like we treat symptoms of a problem instead of the root cause. Oh, definitely. And so the biohacking piece to me is the energy piece. Like my doctor talks about 11 pillars of health. Pillar yeah. number 10 is mindset, right? Mm-hmm. What you believe. Yeah. And yeah. pillar number 11 is energy work or spiritual work because she wow. knows those things help you heal. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. And so I think we're really, um, people are more open now, especially yeah. post COVID, right? Um, everybody's really open to, okay, what's really important in my life. And so when I talk to an executive about what, what is soul intelligence? What do you mean you bring that to your conscious leadership coaching? I talk to them about, it's when you are totally in alignment with your mission, your vision, your values, and your purpose. And mm. you feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. And mm. wouldn't you want a whole company full of people running through the fire for you like that? lit up from the inside out. That's what I'm able to do. And I use the soul intelligence method as part of my coaching, right? I've got all these years, you know, 30 years worth of people development and and coaching. Um, You know, I got my coaching credential in 2009, even though I didn't decide to do this for myself until the last couple of years. So all of those coaching methods where you help people really reach their peak performance. So I'm even serving right now 
for one company as a fractional chief growth officer where I'm doing performance coaching for their, <laughs> for their executive team, for their senior leadership team, for their sales team. Um, and with some individuals, it, I'm using my method, including the CEO. Fabulous. So fabulous. Cool. I know. It's they just really have to be cool. open, right? It's, I mean, I think that does show you. You're right. I, I really do think, um, you know, since the pandemic, a lot of people have really opened up. I'm hearing more people talk like I want to talk about the woo. Let's talk woo. I mean, it's just really interesting. Um, OK, let me ask you this corporate background. Now you have this other entity, Soul Intelligence, uh, a, a new business as mm -hmm. an entrepreneur, like starting this coaching and soul intelligence method business. What has that been like? Um, because this is in the last two years. What is mm -hmm. What has that journey been like as far as, because we have a lot of entrepreneurs that listen, a lot of women. Um, but I guess, let me ask you this. Well, you can, you can tell me what it's been like, but my question here is what's been, I have a lot <laughs> of questions. It's a real question. It's a real question. What's been the biggest surprise of growing your online business in contrast with your corporate one? Um, so that's a really a good question. Um, I really think <clears throat> the, the thing that's the most surprising is, you know, I at least took advantage of coaching, right? Business coaching for myself, right? Yeah. That's how we met. Yes. Um, and I'm so glad that we did. Um, but it, <clears throat> what that did for me was give me a lot of duh moments. And what I mean by that is why am I not doing that for myself? I did that in corporate all the time. Duh. So I uh -huh. think it was just, you know, me thinking about my own business <clears throat> differently than I was thinking about the businesses that I, I worked for other people in. Yeah. And it, it, it's been um, interesting to, to think about, you know, of course, why wouldn't I do that for myself? Why wouldn't I develop that client experience? Why wouldn't I develop my standard operating procedures? Why wouldn't I? And most of the time, the answer is time because there's only yeah. one of me. Right. You know, and there's only so many things you can delegate out. Yeah. All those things are, are fundamental pillars that really, you know, underpin you and your business and your brand. <clears throat> so it's a matter of what's the most important thing to address at the moment, which usually has something to do with sales or marketing and client and delivery. <laughs> you might've just answered it. I know I was going to ask you, can you name like three things? Maybe you just did <laughs> that you would say are the most important. Was that what you would say? Honestly, they are. And, and yeah. probably um, for me in the last, probably in the last um, three months, I recognized that I wasn't spending enough time on business development mm. um, and that I had delegated um, a good bit of my marketing out. And even though my marketing team knows my voice and does a really great job, my audience yeah. still needs to hear from me directly. Yeah. So even though I kept up doing, you know, lives and inter, you know, interacting, um, I think those soulful posts, you know, that just come from you are what people really connect with. Yeah. And so as much as I love having the support, cause God knows I, the tech side of stuff blows the left side of my brain right off. Um, I need support in alone. that area. <laughs> yep. I think, I think every entrepreneur I meet that goes onto the online space will say that because it's yeah. all new. If you yeah. haven't been hanging out there and do it, create creating creating well, content. I'm, I'm also like this game changer, this innovator. So I love new and I love learning. Yeah. Um, and so now I'm in this stage of just really implementing all of the great advice that I've learned in the last two years. So I, um, and, and, you know, um, firsthand, yes. um, I, I went through a little bit of an identity crisis, yeah. right? Like this yeah. corporate executive, you know, with the stressed out adrenals on planes is now all of a sudden, um, running her own business from her office, yeah. uh, home office. Now I always worked from home and traveled. So that piece I had down, but it was, oh, I have no help. Oh, I can't delegate this out. Oh, I have to do this all. And yeah. I have to figure out what are the most important things for me to accomplish in the day. Yeah. Um, and still have a life. Yeah. <laughs> and still right. go have exactly. fun. Yep. Um, and I heard something actually, I was re-listening to, Great, um, great book, Rise, Sister Rise by mm -hmm. Rebecca Campbell. Yeah. And um, she, she had said, are you driven by pleasure or pressure? Oh. And I went, whoa, 
that's really in the good. corporate world, right? Yeah. I'm totally driven by pressure. Pressure. It's very different. It's yeah. a different drive. Yeah. yeah. It, it and really not is. like by what I love to do and my passion. No. So yeah. now, you know, I'm, I'm really, I, you know, I said, I went through this identity crisis because I started doing conscious leadership and doing, and doing those programs for companies. And, you know, that was what I knew and that's where I came from. And then I slowly started to slip in where I really wanted to go, which was my soul intelligence method. Yep. Right. And so now I'm in the transition of fully standing in, um, being the soul intelligence coach and becoming known for that. And, um, you know, teaching people how to up-level from within and how do you tap into, you know, your soul intelligence and how do you, which is really like your soul essence of your genius. Yeah. Like, and how do you bring your genius to the world to make an impact? So cool. Um, I'm going to ask you one more question on this entrepreneur journey, then we'll, we'll dive in a little bit deeper into soul intelligence. But sure. what advice would you give to other women entrepreneurs that are looking to pivot to the online social media space, such as you have, what, what is like one key learning that you've realized? Jeez, one. <laughs> you it's can like have more than one. Big truth bomb. Um, yeah. Honestly, I really think it was helpful to be in a community of other female entrepreneurs. Mm. Um, mm. Really to like share and bond and understand what they're going through, hear their challenges. Even if you weren't getting personalized coaching, you were getting it when they were getting coached and you're like, oh yeah, I could do that too. Um, I really think that was super helpful because yeah. especially when you're operating from a home office, it can feel like you're very lonely. Yes. So I think for me, that community, that strength, um, mm -hmm. meeting other key mm -hmm. leaders was super helpful. And then, you know, being able to promote what you're doing within their community, they doing it within your community. Yeah. Um, and just, I think that was probably the biggest thing for me yeah. is don't go it alone, you know, look for support, look for coaching, look for the right people. Um, but I got to tell you, I did kiss a few frogs before I found the right ones. <laughs> so yeah, some of us do. I think we all have, you know, I mean, I think that's, yeah. Yeah. Do your homework, really look to what resonates. I know I could talk about that too. That's a whole nother subject. Um, yeah. but you know, I, I say the same thing. I think about tips and I have, a, I have a couple, but that's one of them is I think yeah. I used, I've been on my own for 28 years and I thought I was supposed to do it all by myself up mm -hmm. until two years ago. And man, it's so much better and so much faster and everything falls into place so much easier. Well, I won't go too down, too far down the rabbit hole, but 2022 is the year of collaboration, right. And partnerships and, you know, working with one another and being focused more on helping each other succeed. So, um, it is a really good time to be considering that. So that would be my number one tip. Um, and then Love certainly, that. you know, um, one of the lessons learned for me recently is to increase the number of hours I spend doing business development. Okay. And, what, and so that's even reaching out to people personally on social media. It's yeah. making those real relationships and connections with people, not just send having a VA send out, you know, blank yes. for you. It's really, it's really making sure that you, you have that personal touch to get through the clutter. Yep. And then, and then the third thing is, is, you know, really being clear on, right. You, your message, right. right. Yes. Um, and the transformation and what do your clients want um, and being able to communicate that in their language. Right. I think that's absolutely. something that you taught me and is absolutely a killer. I mean, but it's true. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's brand strategy. It's, I, I think it's foundational. I mean, I'm, I'm a little biased there, but it's just, shape. It just <laughs> it's, but I do, I can't, I, I could not help anyone in their business until we got that really clear. Cause it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to yeah. have any traction. So that's really cool. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. Um, okay. Well, let me get into some soul intelligence stuff. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, how does someone tap into their own soul intelligence? Ah, well, you want a secret? Yeah. Well, I will tell people, anybody listening to your podcast who chooses, yeah. 
Okay. If they, if they um, check the show notes, I will make sure that they have access to something called the blissed out leader kit, Awesome. Um, which is a, a free kit that um, you can have some tips. I have a few meditations in there. I've got my sacred soul script in there and some tools to really kind of move you from um, burnt out to, stri- to blissed out um, in 30 okay. days. All right. In 30 days. Wow. <laughs> I think we all need to start <laughs> right now. Yeah. We <laughs> need to go to you, right? Yeah. Um, but the first thing you have to do is you have to limit the distractions, okay. right? And you have to get quiet and you have to be able to go within and listen to messages. Um, your soul is really your inner knowing. It's your voice. It's your connection to the divine. It's your connection to your higher self, that best version of you. Mm-hmm. And if you've got internet going, phone going, everything, you know, you're bombarded by messages. You can't hear any of that. So you have to give yourself space. I'm a big believer in, you know, prayers when you send the message out to the divine and meditation is when you listen for the answers. Ooh, Uh, I've never heard someone say it like that. (laughs) Yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah. That just makes meditation sound even better. I love (laughs) meditating, but I'm one of those. I sit down. I'm like, okay. All right. Okay. I got monkeys in my brain. Okay. Come on. You know? And then I, then I go, okay, I'll have someone lead me like Oprah or Deepak Chopra or someone, Yes, yes you know, so cause it's really hard helpful. for me to sit still in my brain. I know I'm just, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, but I, I love that thought of it. receiving. I never yeah. thought of it that way. Yeah. So it's really cool, but you have to get quiet to listen to the messages. Um, yes. Also changing your environment, you know, getting, getting out in nature when you can, um, you know, um, you, if you live near, you know, the ocean, um, the ocean has a natural sound of ohm, right. Which is the primordial sound of the universe. It's one of the reasons why it's so calming and you feel back in your rhythm when you're around ocean and the water. Um, and so, yeah, it's like, get your Zen on, right. (laughs) That's what you have to do. And you have to, you know, before I start my day, I ask the divine to come through me and to make sure that everything I think, everything I say, every action that I take, that it's divinely inspired so that I can, you know, impact people in a, in a very true and aligned way. I love that. I know I, I, the way you start your sessions, it's, it's very, it is like a prayer. It's like a asking permission. It's really beautiful. And then yeah. The way you, um, yeah. It's really and that's beautiful. how I describe it to people. And they say, well, what is it? Yeah. What is it this is, stuff all about? <laughs> what is the soul? And it's really a very specific form of prayer. I'm asking for certain things to be released um, as they come up and as they're shown to me. Um, and it's really um, the divine, your your um, unseen beings who look after you, whether you believe in angels or guides or ancestors um, and mine, letting us know what's in your best and highest good, what needs to go. What have you already completed that's holding you back? Um, Okay, last question here. Um, Have you seen any kind of, uh, or I, I don't know how else to describe it, like a miracle or some kind of like amazing thing happen with this? After someone's gone through a soul yeah. transition, yeah. Have you seen the power of this manifest in some way? That's like holy cow! Yeah. Every yeah. day, every day, every day. <laughs> I, I mean, really, my life is full of miracles every day. That's no joke. Um, just uh, you know, I was with two other um, healers last night, <clears throat> and we were just working on each other, right? Filling our own cups up. And, um, they both at the end, I did a session for each of them and but they both at the end were like, wow, you are such a powerful healer. I can't believe all this stuff. This is so right on this made complete sense. You know, you've had that experience. I've right? had that experience. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm just curious if like, you know, I mean, I know this is really powerful. So I'm just kind of, you well, know, asking you know, different, different examples and things. Also, you know, I mean, in terms of, um, you know, I've had clients heal from diseases like shingles um, and, uh, you know, being able to um, help people shift um, even cancer, you know, um, out, up and out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, big stuff, big right? Stuff. Big yeah. stuff. Um, big and, stuff. you know, but if I can also help somebody um, rebuild their marriage, 
um, and help them grow closer as a couple by shifting things out and helping them learn how to move closer to one another. That's also equally impactful. Um, one of my clients, um, I had the opportunity to meet their family and um, the daughter of my client came up to me and said, thank you for giving me my dad back. Oh, wow. Um, and I have chills as I tell you that. That's Just, amazing. Um, so yeah, when I, when I say daily, I witness miracles, it's really a gift and a blessing, which is why I know this is the work I'm meant to do. Yeah. Um, and it's super amazing and impactful. It's just a matter of, um, working with the right people that resonate with the message and who are open to receive it. That's open it. To receive. That's, and that's the cool thing. You don't have to do anything. No, it's really amazing. Session. You literally <laughs> sit there and receive. And it's like, talk about giving you give so much. It's really cool. It's, it's, you have to experience it to, to, yeah. So this, so you have something for our viewers um, and we'll have it in the show notes for, for y'all. Yep. Um, you can find Christine at soul intelligence method.com. And uh, it's got the forward slash bliss dash out dash leader. We'll provide all that for you. Um, what is this? This little gift? Is this the 30 days to bliss this out? Is is 30 days to bliss out, baby. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. It's something I wanted to give away. Um, so that exactly the question you asked me so that people go, well, how do I get in touch with that? How do I start tapping into my own soul intelligence? How do I get into my inner knowing? Some people call it clear cognizance. Um, but that's really what it is. It's being quiet enough to hear your own inner voice and trusting it. It's more than just your intuition. It's more than your third eye. It's literally your soul essence, your, um, you know, all, all of that magic, um, within you, the divinity within you. That's beautiful. That's so cool. Well, yeah. I, I highly recommend you guys go check this stuff out. It's, uh, it's, you know, and I love that you bring this sense of you have such a grounded, I mean, I think that's amazing as a brand expert, like this very corporate juxtaposition against something very energetic and woo. And yet we all know those of us that are, you know, believe in all I I've experienced it. It, you really feel something, you really feel this shift and it does all make sense. So I'd love for y'all to go check that out. Um, yeah. well, yeah. I would love it too. Um, you know, some, sometimes you just feel lighter. Sometimes you feel, uh, relief. Sometimes you get a different perspective of a situation. Sometimes there's ancestral things or things that have passed through your DNA that you're working out for your family line that shift out that you didn't even know were there. Right. Wow. And we know like 95% of our <clears throat> brain is that con subconscious mind that's running the show. We don't even know what's buried in there half the time. And this actually helps get the work of the subconscious. Is that what that's doing? Absolutely. It brings it to your conscious mind so it can be recognized, acknowledged and released. Ah, there you go. See, and it's that. magic. Yeah, that is magic. <laughs> so cool. It is magic. So cool. Well, I'm excited too. I'm, I'm for the first time, I'm actually um, offering a group program called the CEO Accelerator. Wow. Where, uh, no, where it's three months where people get to receive. The first month is on relationships. Um, first, we start with the relationship to yourself because that's the most important one. And this is probably the biggest thing. Love one another as you love yourself. We've probably heard that somewhere before. Yeah, that, is the, that, one. And that is one of the most challenging things for people to really, truly love themselves fully. Right. Right. We're always looking for that from another. From someone else. And that's, and that's where, where we really um, fall off the wagon most of the time. But we start yeah. there. Yeah. And then we certainly look at um, relationships to others. Um, then I focus on uh, um, our health, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being, and um, then our wealth and abundance and prosperity. So those are the areas of focus in that course. And it's mostly about receiving. It's, it's um, you know, meditation, receiving, journaling, all good for you stuff, Deb. I think you need to be there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Sounds so good. Yeah. Uh, uh, I love it. Well, all of this that you say, like, you know, it touches every aspect of your life, which to me is kind of 
phenomenal, but energy <laughs> does and, and blocks in your subconscious affect everything. Mm-hmm. So you get to go in and poke around at just all kinds of things. I mean, is there anything it can't kind of poke into or do, or like how to, you know, not is it I, all? Not that I've found thus far, mm-hmm. um, you know, not that's been glaring or obvious to me. I mean, I add different charts, you know, yeah. as things come up or as downloaded to me, you know, some yeah. more information okay. um, and guidance, but yeah, I mean, you know, our life is our life. Um, and right. so <laughs> it is, you know, it touches everything, everything. Yeah. everything yeah. Is what, I mean, whatever we is. touch, you know, hopefully, like I said, um, we'll shift out, you know, a self-limiting belief can affect every aspect of your life. And if we could figure out what that is and help you release that, that pattern, um, you know, then you're going to see your relationships differently. You're going to see your work differently. You might see, you know, yourself differently. Well, I think we all need to jump in on this. What do you think? (laughs) (laughs) I think we all, we all have, we're human. We all have blocks and stuff. And I know I've, I've experienced it many times with you and it's really phenomenal. Well, Um, I also have to acknowledge you. You really helped me um, figure out um, what my brand presence needed to be. Um, and really help me put soul intelligence on the map and own it. So I am, I am grateful to you, my friend. Oh, well, say right back at you. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's really something I had never experienced before. And it's, it's, yeah, I think everyone needs to run out and go check it out. <laughs> Well, thank you. I yeah, appreciate thank you it. so much. It so fun. I can't wait to, to, uh, to listen to more of the, the episodes. Yeah. We're having a great time. I love getting to do this. It's, it's such a joy. I will talk to you super soon. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this again. We'll have show notes for y'all on how to find Christine and her blissed out leader gift for all of you. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for listening to Brandon Biss Bills with your host, Debbie White. Visit franklydeb.com where you can connect with us and join our free Facebook community where all the brand action happens. And I love hanging out on Instagram. So follow me there at Frankly Deb. And join us next time for another episode of Brand and Biss Bills. Let's get real on women growing powerful brands.